Check it out, folks. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, today's video, I am going to give my direct response to Andre Jick, and I am going to address all of the different things that he basically said about me. Uh, yeah, he didn't directly say my name. You know, these guys have huge following, so they're not going to directly say your name because they don't want to give you any clout or help you get any followers or anything like that, which is fine. Whatever. I don't care. Uh, but he was absolutely 100% talking about me. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and address that. So what happened was uh, Andre Jake has his podcast, I guess, called Don't Sweat It. And uh, me, Kevin, appeared on that podcast. And me, Kevin, basically talked about everything that's going on with him in uh, 2022. And there's actually a section where he talks about the DUI situation. A lot of you guys know I am the one who exposed the DUI. I'm not surprised that Andre Jake and all these other people probably know who I am because that caused a lot of, you know, that, that made some firestorms in the investing community. There's no doubt about it uh I, yeah the, i i know that they know you know that's all i can say like we know one thing we know about these youtubers is they pay attention they they see what's going on they just don't say anything because they have such huge followings they don't want to give you any clout or anything like that but anyway uh let me go ahead and respond to this because right after me kevin talks about the dui thing there's a section of timestamps that says andre's approach to negativity on youtube and this is where andre jick uh directly throws shade at me and i absolutely feel like he's talking about me and if he's not talking about me then he's probably talking about me strongman and scott schaefer but either way i'm pretty sure this is directed at me so let me go ahead and respond to this uh let me actually turn the screen record on and here we go what we do on YouTube. You know? No, yeah, I, I think there's a double-edged sword to that. Because on one hand, you're right, it does help. But on the other hand, at least in today's psychology, yeah. in the, today's market, I feel like it sets a precedent potentially to where it's like, oh, if I make enough videos about Kevin to annoy him, yeah. he might come on my channel. Oh, and that actually, is true. You yeah. know what I mean? Okay, no, Andre, that's not true. That That's not any of our goals. And I hate it when you guys say that. That's lame. Like, you guys aren't anybody special, okay? It's not, oh, we make videos about these guys so they can come on our channel. We don't give a flying crap if any of you guys come on my channel. Even if me, Kevin, never came on my channel, it wouldn't matter because guess what? When me, Kevin hated me, before me, Kevin even thought about coming on my channel, my channel was growing because I was talking about these people and holding them accountable. It doesn't matter if they come on the channel. You know why? Because the content is there. If I continue to talk about other people and give my honest opinion, people are going to watch it. So this little conspiracy that, oh, you want, you know, you're purposely talking about them so they could come on your channel. That's foolishness. I don't think that's why scott schaefer does what he does i don't think that's why chris norland does what he does i don't think that's why strongman personal finance does what he does and it sure as hell ain't why what i do why i do what i do okay the reason why i do what i do <clears throat> is because i watched what people like you andre and me kevin and others did in terms of the influence you had on people and the different risky assets that they were buying because they watched your video and i had an issue with it i had a disagreement with it and so because of that i began my journey of making videos let's go ahead and keep going and i feel like that's the downside and so my approach is always i'm not saying it's the right one it's just what i'm doing is is if i ever see anything negative and i don't try to leave i don't try to find it i don't try to watch that even if i see a video of, of sure. like my thumbnail just scroll past so. i'll just scroll past it Good i won't watch you. it okay andre jeek is 100 percent lying okay i know most of these big youtubers i've talked to them one way or another whether it's privately or publicly i know how these guys are and one thing i discovered about every single one of them is they're very very sensitive they may not say it in public but trust me behind the scenes they watch all our videos. They watch my videos, Strongman's videos, Scott's videos, whoever. They watch our videos. So all this BS about, oh, you know, I try to ignore it and I don't, that's BS. Matter of fact, Scott Schaefer made a video about Andre Jick and Andre Jick commented on the video. So you're just downright lying. Oh, I don't watch it. I skip it. No, 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 you don't. You literally commented on Scott Schaefer's video. If the comment's still up there, if he didn't delete, I'm going to put it up on the screen right now. You literally commented on Scott Shaver's video. You said like, hi, Scott, you know, blah, 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 whatever your, your bull crap you said was. But don't come on here and lie, dude. Don't get on the podcast and lie and act like you're higher than thou and, oh, it doesn't bother me. I just ignore. No, no you don't. You literally responded to Scott Shaver's video, which was literally like a month ago. So stop the foolishness. Stop it, dude. And if I ever do watch it and I'm like, oh, this, this, this looks intriguing. What are they saying now? And if I watch it, I, I won't address it. I won't comment it because I feel like the more attention you give it. He, he just said, I won't address it. I won't comment it. You literally commented on Scott Schaefer's video about you. Stop the cap. Y'all lucky I don't got my cap. Where my hat at? Oh, y'all lucky I don't got my hat. Stop the cap, Andre. 
the more it blows up into something like, oh, they responded to me. That means it has some grain of truth to it. Sure. And if anything, at the end of the day, I think all of those creators are intentional with everything they do. And I think oh, they're yeah. extremely intelligent with, with their approach. Oh, sure. And I just feel like... No, that's cap, my boy. That's 100% cap. We're not intentional in what we do. You guys just don't like it when small YouTubers like us stand up for the community and hold you accountable. So, no, I don't want to hear that. No, it's not a secret plan that we thought, of, oh, I'm going to grow my YouTube channel by talking about me. Kevin, he's going to come on my channel. I had no idea the guy was going to come on my channel. I still think it's crazy that he even comes on my channel. But guess what? Him coming on my channel doesn't really mean much because guess what? Him coming on my channel helped with the ad revenue. It made me more money. But in terms of the views, me just being me and doing what I do and just talking about them. All right, sorry, we had a little bit of a blooper. But let's go ahead and get back into the content. Extremely intelligent with, with their approach. Oh, sure. And I just feel like allowing them that satisfaction of feeding mm -hmm. into it gives them that, that satisfaction, not only mentally, but also an encouraging actual other encouraging other yeah. people to do it. I've never thought about it that way. Uh, yeah, and, and I think you're right. I actually think you're right, and it's something that, that I should consider because uh, I, I've always been this, uh, like... Well, I've literally told Kevin on numerous occasions, like, to his face, that... I don't even know why you with 1.8 million subscribers would even come on a small channel like mine. Like I've said this plenty of times, like I honestly don't get it, but at least Kevin is honest enough to admit the God honest truth that these content creators care what people say about them, which I don't understand. But again, these people are sensitive. That's what it is. So like I said, Andre G can act higher than mighty if he wants. But at the end of the day, these guys watch the videos. Him saying he doesn't watch the videos is cap. You watch all the videos that are said about you and you probably feel some type of way, you just don't say anything publicly. Let's continue. Hey, you know, if something's wrong, can we talk it out? I right. don't know, I think that comes from real estate. I'm the same. Uh, I reached out to a creator privately, okay. and I was like, let's zoom, I'll, I'll explain everything to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go with these BS stories. Oh, I reached out to a creator privately and we zoomed, okay. Exactly. And I did, I, I Zoom called him and I, and I started explaining to him. He wouldn't have it, just would not listen, just was really rude and, and crazy, and I was like, I'm giving you transparent. I have no reason to. Okay, well, I don't know what creator he talked to, but maybe that creator just doesn't have integrity. Well, I, I can't speak on it because I didn't. I wasn't there for the call. So for all I know, the creator could have been just pressing him and being honest, and Andre J could have just been getting in his feelings and being sensitive. But all I can do is speak for myself. I've interviewed me, Kevin, on my channel plenty of times. Can you guys name a time where I've ever been condescending, rude, mean, yelling, nothing like that? No, we had a respectful debate, and I wasn't no pushover. I didn't get starstruck. I didn't back down, but I definitely kept it real and spoke the truth. Like we're not going to do these old softball interviews. So it's hard for me to speak on this specific situation, but all I can do is speak for myself. Uh, if I were to talk to Andre or Chris Sane or Larry Jones, I would be respectful. I wouldn't be rude, but we're definitely going to keep it a hundred too at the same time. Okay. Like mislead you or yeah, anything. Yeah. And I could tell from the moment I started talking to him that his goal was not to hear the truth. It was it was like I don't to care find a conspiracy. Yeah, or but, but 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 it was from a perspective of a, a a very motivated perspective of like I don't it's it's not in my incentive to know the truth. Mm. It's hard for me to believe that because why would that person act like that if you guys are on a private Zoom call? It would make more sense for them to act like that if you guys are doing a live stream and all his followers are there. But I don't know if I believe Andre here. I think that guy was probably just pressing him, and Andre didn't like it. So. Uh, Andre probably just said, you know what, we're not going to get anywhere here. And that's fine. But like I said, I don't know the story, so it's hard to speak. Because the truth doesn't sell. What sells is he my can't title. Make a video out of that. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. title and my thumbnail. I don't want to have a motivated perspective. Okay, see, this is what I don't like. Andre is saying that the truth doesn't sell, it's the titles that sell. No, it's the truth. <laughs> At least I can speak for myself. It's the truth. Of like, I don't. It's, it's not in my incentive to know the truth because the truth doesn't sell. What sells is he my title. He can't make a video out of that. Yeah, yeah my yeah. title and my thumbnail. I don't want to have a conscience on my, you know, yeah. where I know you're a good person. I want to be convinced that you're the devil, that I can make videos about you and make money. Like, that's great. It's not convinced that you're the devil and make videos about you and make money, Andre. See, here's the problem with you, Andre, and all these big creators. You all refuse to take any accountability. There's a reason why you guys get so much hate in your comments. And I'll be honest, Andre, you and Graham don't get nearly as much hate as me, Kevin, does. There's a reason why me, Kevin, get so much hate, okay? We're going to keep it all the way 100 here. We're going to tell the truth. We're going to keep it real. It's a mixture of stuff. Flip-flopping. 
being the king of the meme stocks in the meme rally in 2021, literally jumping, in my opinion, on every single bandwagon in 2021, uh, which also helped him uh, uh, get views and stuff like that. You know, there, there, there was a lot to it. There, there was definitely there was definitely a lot to it. But <clears throat> I'm not going to let Andre get away with that. Just making it seem like, oh, we're all just making videos just to hate and all that stuff. No, no, no. It's not making videos about you guys just to hate. It's the fact that, in my opinion, a lot of you guys took advantage of retail investors during the 2020 and 2021 bull market. And it completely black backfired. And a lot of your fans lost a lot of money. And now a lot of those fans are pissed at you. That's what it comes down to. And you guys have got to take some accountability. It is ridiculous for you guys to keep playing this sob story. Oh, I get all this hate. People are mean. They don't like. No, no, no. Take some freaking accountability and andre you ain't innocent either dude you and you and bitcoin it uh, is going to 100k you ain't innocent either man jesus christ you you guys are something else man let me put the phone back on screen record hold on so i think in, in real estate i always learned it's so good to to clear the air which is the first thing you did really impressive by the way like yeah. okay the i think that's it <laughs> i think that's it so the bottom line is my response, Andre, is you got to cut the crap. You got to cut with the whole sob story, feel bad for you. Just don't address them, Kevin. Blah, blah, blah. I have no idea why Kevin came on my channel. Maybe he just wanted to. Maybe he felt guilty. Maybe he just liked me. I don't know. Maybe he really felt that it got to a point where there was so much pressure put on him, he had to come on. I don't know. But the BS that you're talking about, Andre, is bad, and it's actually bad advice, too. It's, 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 not, it's wrong, and it's bad advice. If somebody is getting criticized enough, I think they should at least go on one channel. I, I definitely think. Now, me, Kevin, doesn't have to go on as many times as he's come on my channel and Strongman's. Don't get me wrong. But I think somebody like a Jeremy who has never addressed his critics, I think Jeremy should go on at least one person's channel. At least. I think all these, these YouTube grifters should at least go on one person's channel. At least one. At least one. That's the way that I look at it. Take the criticism head on and then let the people decide from there. So that's my thoughts regarding that. That's my response to Andre Jig. Obviously, he's not going to respond to this video because I guess he thinks I'm malicious. And I'm here to tell you right now, Andre, whether you respond or not or whether Kevin or whoever, I don't give a flying crap. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that's what you guys don't understand. We're not doing this. I mean, of course, everybody wants to go to the channel, but I can just speak for myself. I'm not doing this because I want you to magically come on my channel. Y'all ain't that special. You're YouTubers. You ain't Barack Obama, okay? Let's make sure we understand that, all right? Anyway, there you guys have it. That'll go ahead and conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.